Hi everybody, this is Old Man Rick back at County Crossing. And now, uh, today I want to kind of show off some of the really cool things you can do using OC Decorator. I finally bit the bullet and added my first mod. Um, I, I, I guess uh, I'm going to start here with uh, a couple ideas that just, just really blew my mind when I watched videos from other people. Uh, Stacy Plays Fallout had a, a farmer's market on Spectacle Island where she had these bins filled with with veggies which I thought was really cool and also Phoenix Embrace she had a build in Sanctuary where she showed off how you build window boxes like flower boxes on that uh, on that video so I kinda combined those those ideas and uh, I used the uh, Brahmin troughs from the Nuka World DLC to build this planter in this weird blank area that I had in this uh, to one side of my walkway in my settlement. So uh, what I did was uh, put in the Brahma troughs and then just to kind of fill in so that I didn't have to use enormous amounts of resources I, I glitched in some rugs just were kind of the same color and uh, then on top of that I started filling in with all kinds of plants and everything uh, my, my goal was to I, I don't know I just uh, as I was I kept looking at that blank area I thought I'd like to have some nice colorful thing to that side between the the walkway and the wall so that was my solution um, and uh, you can see here that some of the plants fill in really thick and nicely as you drop them in and others not so much like these carrot flowers they look all spindly from certain certain directions uh, from here they look great from that side not so much but it's uh, I, I think if I were to do this again then I'd probably start with the the base level these uh what are these called the the pinkish red uh, are those blood leaf I, i'd start with that and then start building on top of it if i were to do it again uh, a big downside to this is they are brahmin troughs and uh, i already had a brahmin in this this settlement which was fenced in over here with uh, you know no gate no way to get out but somehow somehow it did get out and immediately embedded itself inside this solid concrete wall with its head poking out feeding out of the troughs so that really annoyed me and my solution was to kill it and enjoy a nice Brahmin steak and you can oh there's my tribute there there's the brahmin skulls oh well i had a delicious meal so that's the first part and uh this building here is kind of my favorite in the settlement there's uh jinx bar bar food and spirits on the bottom floor uh the jinx sisters run that and it's kind of a bar and restaurant uh upstairs this is uh i'm I consider myself to be the mayor of this settlement. This is my house. Uh, uh, another thing that really inspired me to build, uh, to make this video was I showed a friend uh, one of my previous videos and it looked so incredibly stark because I had not done very much decoration whatsoever. So this shows off all of the things I added. Some of these, you know, armor racks and the plants where you know no mods whatsoever but uh, I went back through and used uh, OC decorator to put some nice things on top of the the desk and I kind of rebuilt the patio decorations and put some things out just to make it look lived in 
You know, I've got the crate and all of these gizmos on top of it. And uh, I kind of went a little bit too crazy. I expanded the size of this uh, kitchen table. And uh, I, on a positive side, every morning a few settlers settlers will come, come in here and they'll have breakfast. But it does kind of look a little bit over-decorated. And over-decorated again are the shelves in the kitchen. And, uh, yeah, I, I went too far in this. I should probably uh, pull these back and take off some things. Uh, especially because I'm, I'm running this on a very old PC. And my frame rate kind of sucked before this and uh, adding all of these items sure did not help it looks pretty cool but yeah uh, everywhere else everywhere else it just it comes off as over decorated I like it it's just kind of a little bit too much but I had fun doing it and it was learning and and that's that's what all of these things are about just learning better ways of doing things and yeah here I am I'm gonna have to apologize for the lagginess and the low frame rates but yeah just you know put some drinks and books and things like that on the coffee table and and one thing that's really cool about uh, OC decorator is when you put out these these uh, tabletop uh, photos they actually have a photo in them instead of being I think every time I did that without OC decorator it was just a, a blank gray background uh, running downstairs real quick uh, I kinda modified the tables that were out here and decorated them uh, added some of the more colorful chairs from uh, you know, the vault tech DLC and uh, I think that kind of spruced up the place. Uh, before, I had a doorway here. Uh, when I first built this building, I thought I would have a second set uh, trader in that location, but changed my mind. Um, I also used uh, kind of a pillar glitch. I had to go back and forth to get the height is exactly where I wanted it. I thought using a rug to make kind of a, a table placemat would be a good idea but um, and, and I do like it but unfortunately when you when you go from side to side if you look at that now on the left it overhangs the table to that side when you go over here now it overhangs the table to, to the other side um, I worked at that a little bit more uh, and, and that's because OC decorator you cannot put things on top of these tables um, and you cannot put things on top of the bar so I kind of uh, worked at the height issue using the same floor mat and I just happened to get it exactly right on this side of the the countertop where you just can't you just barely cannot see that floor mat and now you can put all this cool stuff that looks like it's a working bar on top of the bar. Um, I think I also had to use Pillar Glitch to get the height of that cash register exactly right so that it didn't sink in too much or it didn't float above it. I mentioned in an earlier video that uh, I wanted twins here. I wanted the, the Jinx Bar Bar. To have twins uh, and I kind of farmed a different settlement to have other people come in and I just never got an absolute twin for my original bartender but I sure did love uh, this settlers purple hair and I thought okay they won't be identical twins they'll be they're still sisters they just won't be identical twins uh, back here this was completely barren and I filled in this shelf with all kinds of booze and a little bit of a uh, little bit of food here and there uh, I put some all kinds of uh, food prep looking things on on top of this counter 
and also filled out this shelf with other kind of food items. Uh, I expanded, well, I didn't expand out. I, I, I added more things into this little apartment just to make it a little bit more lived in. And um, then, like I said, over here, this was just a walkway out. And I made this a second apartment for the second Jinx sister and decorated this with uh, OC decorated uh, OC decorator um, just to add a few more items make it lived in so that's what I've been up to and uh, like I said I hope um, I don't know I enjoy doing this and I just really hope that maybe it will inspire other people to do other creative things because that's that's where I get my inspiration is watching other people's videos and and it's like oh yeah you know maybe I could do something different uh, if I were to do this again I think I'd use like the uh, like these fence pieces I, I would put them in and then put a, a rug on top of it and then I could probably have this same nice planter look and it might even it might even uh, come off as being a little bit more consistent because these are a little jaggy where they they're not all the same height and I could probably have kept my Brahmin instead of having a, a nice delicious steak but anyway I hope you enjoyed and I will talk to you next time I'm sure I'm gonna do some more building here uh, I'm also working on uh, coastal crossing and I'm gonna have some videos on that before too long uh, I'm getting closer to having enough stuff to really make a video so enjoy your whenever time and I'll talk to you later bye